Okay, so I finished making the, the guidelines, as you can see. So these these empty areas, these would be the, the spots, right? But the thing with black spots, stripes, um, tiger stripes, whatever, those things, uh, is that the layers continue, like the, the layers from here would continue into the black spots too. For example, let's say this, la this layer right here. The reason you can't see it is because it's black hair, but the layers of hairs continues. So this layer would continue into, into here. Except that this section is black hair. So once it gets here, the, what, the lighter hair starts, but still the same layer. So that's why I like adding these uh, these lighter guidelines. on the black hair so you see this is one layer and then it continues into the into the spots same here and so on see now that we have that then now we can start inventing so indenting, what's indenting? Indenting basically means you're, that'll be taking this needle and pressing down on the paper. And then it's gonna make a, it's gonna make a line, right? And then when I go over with a pencil, the white line, the white, the indentation is gonna be, is gonna be white because the pencil, the graphite doesn't hit that, that area. So we'll be doing that for all the hair here. And the way I like doing it is, the best way of doing it is in layers. So you would start down here, the first layer, the, the layer at the bottom. And then once you have that done, you go to the top layer. And then the tip of the top layer is gonna overlap the bottom layer. And we'll just keep doing it until we get to the, to the top. For the black spots, so we're doing this layer here we I like adding a, like a couple of indentations on the black hair not too many because then it's gonna be light it's gonna look like lighter like lighter hair I just like adding like these single indentations just to indicate that light is hitting a couple of the black hairs and is making uh, and it's reflecting the light so let's let's do this a couple here and I recommend you have a light on the side I have a light right here see that that light it's on an angle so whenever I'm indenting I'm able to see the the indentations and for this one I'm doing I'm using the, the needle stylus Depends on how you want the hair. You could either just do it with one, like one, one time with this, or you could do indent with this one, finish it, and then go over again with this one, with a thicker. That just gives the illusion of having like thicker hair and thinner hair. And that combination gives a, gives a hair much more realism. Okay, so let's, I'll show you a couple. So the best way to do this is just keep it random because hair doesn't grow it doesn't grow straight it, it curves you have wavy hair you have long hair you have short hair but when you're doing this you gotta always keep in mind about the layers the layers that's what makes this this technique work And that's why the best way to to work with this technique is to actually study hair. Like it sounds weird, I know, but like look at pictures of hair and just look at look at the how it behaves. You'll notice that there's like long hair 
on here overlaps so by doing that it makes it so much so much easier to do it because you'll be able to see the patterns see and then after once everything has been indented you can add like these single hairs that overlap the, like, the rest of the hairs but we'll do that at the end so I'll do one layer so you guys can see see the light helps because it's, you're able to see the, the indentation so you know what you're doing You also gotta keep in mind the length of the hair because all animals they, they have different different types of hair for example a tiger on the body is shorter hair than on the, than on the face so the same with the leopard this the length of this hair is about this size that should be the length of each of the indentations I know it looks like a mess right now, but I'm telling you, like, once you start adding the pencil, it's like magic. It's these lines appear, and, and if you've got the nice flow, if you've got the lines looking random and they're not like straight, because if you make them straight, it's, it, it just looks like scratches, and you don't want that. You want it to look natural, you want the natural flow. This, the, this step takes a long time for all my drawings because it's not just about like scratching the paper you need to understand what, you, what you're doing like I said if you have it if this is your first time seeing this technique I recommend you go to my to the link below and read the tutorial so you understand better what the, what this technique is all about and again, if you have any questions, just comment below and I'll, and I'll answer. I try to, I'll try to answer all the questions. Oops. 